Hey, what's up guys? Zeph for Sonic here, welcoming you back to another episode of Pokemon White version 2. And so, in the last episode, we began going through the Charged Stone Cave, and now we are going to uh, continue through the rest of Charged Stone Cave. So, uh, we took on the Doctor before we ended off, and got our Pokemon healed, so now we just have to continue. Cave... Run into another wild poke. Well, first in this episode. I know I quickly let's go ahead and make a substitution adjustment. Let's go ahead and put uh Dwat at the front. I honestly wanted to train up some of my other pokes. Uh actually let's put in Lucario. Lucario some, uh, some training. It was a whisper on the wind that told me of your coming. The wind cannot whisper. So now she sends out Minachino, Cappuccino. It rhymes. A well, bad thing for her is that this is gonna be super effective. Yeah, ouch. Alright, that will, yeah, level up Lucario to level 30. Uh, Excadrill. Uh, let's go ahead and, um... So if I remember correctly, Excadrill is part, uh... Steel? Steel ground? Um, Force Palm. All right, home claws. Don't want him, uh, her to get set up. The Excadrill is already bad enough. Okay, yeah, it was part steel. I knew the other was part ground, um, but I just forgot the, if the other one was uh, part steel or not. But anyways, uh, so it is. Okay, slash. I'm part steel, so yeah, it won't do much. Then it went for like dig or something. Now that would have done a lot. In fact, I probably would have taken the car out. Lucario out in one hit. I'll become the wind and blow because dig is already super effective enough as it is because it's part ground and ground is super effective against steel types. And with the one up attack, well, Excadrill's already got bad attack uh, or a good, a very good attack already. So that would have just made it more deadly. Um, okay. It's. Okay, we need to go up, first of all. Run away from this clink! I've got more repels, only thing is, um... These Pokemon are higher level are higher leveled. Well, actually here Lucario's uh, level 30. Forgot about that. But if you run into a Pokemon that's a higher level, well, yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and use the Max Repel. I love this place. This electricity charges up my inspiration. Well, I hope it charges up your inspiration to lose. Because it's exact exactly what's gonna happen. Alright, scientist Lumi. A jolt lick. Alright, let's see what Lucario can do. Not too worried about the berries, considering I hardly use berries, uh, or considering that I hardly put berries on my Pokemon. If I'm, if I'm gonna have them get use berries, I just use them in my items bag. And yeah, of course, I knew it wasn't gonna be uh, very that very effective. I think, um, well, she's gonna go for an electric type move or a physical type move. Um, I was kind of hoping to get a paralysis on it with that force palm. I'm gonna go to sand slash because I'm predicting an electric type move here. So. Want to get Sand Slash in? Okay, Gastro Acid. 
Um, so all I did was suppress my ability, which I'm not too worried about. We're just gonna dig. Now this will do normal, uh, damage because since Jolt's like is bug type, it neutralizes the super effectiveness because it's not very effective against bug types. So since part electric, well, it's neutralized. Okay, Golbat, we are going to switch into, uh, Ampharos. And all we're gonna do is uh, Electro Ball. If I'm not mistaken, the more speedier the Pokemon, the more damage it does. So this should do quite a lot of damage. Alright. And I got it with confusing confusion. Come on, uh, Ampharo, shake it off. Yeah, Thunder Punch. Punch that bat out of the sky. Aha, they made a light bulb go on in my head. Well, good thing you don't have a physical light bulb in your head or else, well, your head would burn. That would kind of hurt, I would think. Okay, so there's Bianca. But before we talk to Bianca... We're gonna go down here and explore uh, more of this cave. Of course, this same area was in the original black and white. Uh, here I go! And here I go! Here I go on to beat you and then go on. Alright, so she's got a level 33 Zeb Strika, a pretty formidable opponent. Um, now I'm predicting a flame charge here since Zeb Strika can learn flame charge, um, which it learns earlier in its, uh, its Blitzel form. Um, and considering if she goes for a flame charge, it'll probably take Lucario out. It is super effective and with my current HP, it'll probably take me out, so I am going to go into Sand Slash. Uh-oh, well she went for Pursuit still. Will not do much damage because Dark Types are, Dark Type moves are not very effective against uh, steel types or dark types if I'm not mistaken so that's four times less super effective uh, or four times not very effective damage all I know is it's not very effective against steel but I think dark type as well it's if I remember correctly all right dig maybe I'll one hit it yeah but I'm talking about all right, so Lucario gains a level 31. Your style is electrifying. Why, thank you. You know what? At first I practiced real quiet, so I wouldn't be bothered to the Pokemon living here, but then guess what happened? Lately the Pokemon come and listen to me play, and they say that you suck. You suck hard. You are not good at playing music. Okay, so... Get this item down here, and it's an escape rope. Okay, so we got a hidden item down here. Uh, okay, it should be down there, I believe. Ooh, it's a uh, Tynamo. That uh, I forget its final evolution's name. I know what it looks like. I forget its name, though. As to its final evolution. It's a shroud. What's in here? Oh, okay, it's Wild Pokemon. I'm gonna go out on a wild guess and say that it's... Yeah. Don't want a Drillbur. Um, okay, so, yeah, I take on this trainer. Eric from the PC, the best way to battle, and I'm now I'm sure to win. Yeah, that PC must have told you the best possible way to lose. Alright, Archin. Which Archins are pretty good physical attackers, especially with the acrobatics. 
Um, it's got, it's part rock type, so this will be super effective damage. Oh, no, wait, no, I forgot. Um, I think, I think the flying type trait negates that, actually. Alright, there we go, got it down. Alright, I like the buzz. Gonna go and switch to Sand Slash. Um. Okay, light screen, not worried about that. Dig is physical, so. Again, light screen. Well, you couldn't really do much anyway. Oh, are you kidding me? Did not take it out. Hung on by a little bit. All right, got the quick claw to kick in, and so we'll just finish off Electabuzz. Right. Yeah, definitely level up to 32. Seriously? Yes, seriously. But I found the PC was just someone else's idea, not an answer that I had come up with myself. Yeah, like I said, it told you how to lose. Alright, we found a Thunderstone. Now, that Thunderstone was also there in the original black and white, so... Um... Alright, no, you're gonna fight me. Oh, so this is going to be a rotational battle. Stoutling, Crock Rock, and Pharaoh Seed. Okay, well, probably should have healed up Lucario at the beginning of the battle. Although, of course, the Intimidate's going to get Lucario. Um... Let's see... Have yeah to what is a surf and well yeah this won't be very effective. I started a pretty good amount of damage. All right, well we got the opportunity. Let's go ahead and heal up um Lucario. Oh, takedown, yeah, that's gonna do a lot if that hits. Right, another switch. Well, this should only take two more serves. Well, I might get him on another one. Uh, yeah, let's, let's see if Surf can take him out. Yes! Either way, that would have worked out, possibly, because even if he would have switched into, like, Croc Rock, uh, or rotated to Croc Rock, I would have been able to possibly take him out since Croc Rock is part ground type. Um, okay, we're gonna Razor Shell, Stoutland. Okay, well, looks like it's gonna be Croc Rock. I don't know why you did that. Uh, although this could work in his favor now because he just swaggered me, and if I hurt myself in confusion, the higher your attack is raised, the more damage is gonna be inflicted, but we did it. That should be an easy one hit, because Razor Shell is physical, up two stages in attack because of that swagger. Look at that, Dewat's got swagger. He got swag. Alright, well, I should be able to one hit uh, Stoutland if I can manage to shake off the confusion with Razor Shell. And I hurt myself. Darn. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, crunch. Don't know. Yee. Okay, come on. Fight it. Yes. Not sure if it'll one hit it. We'll see. Oh, so close. Okay, I'm gonna have to heal up. Um. The what? Right, Takedown. 
I honestly... Look at there, taking yourself out with recoil damage. One of the best ways to go out. Taking yourself out. Okay, you were the one who had the stronger combined power as a team? Indeed. With rotational battles, maybe these Pokemon that can take attacks, not just steal them out. Okay, let's check my Pokemon because I think I need to... Uh, okay, yeah, I need to go ahead and heal the Watt back up again, but I think I'm gonna use a super potion. Save my hyper potions up. Um... Okay, I'm gonna have to face another trainer here. Actually, um, let's go ahead and put uh, Brave. We haven't gotten to give uh, Braviary any um, any additional training for a while. So let's go, Mr. Hikers. Man, I remember back in the day, yeah, like, hikers would always use rock types. And of course, well, for me, that's bad because, well, yeah. So we are going to switch into Jawad. And of course, fortunately, uh, we managed to avoid it. All right, Surf. Could be an easy one hit KO. Um, okay, Baldor, gonna stay in for this. And throw another surf his way. But it won't one hit because of Baldor's ability, which is uh, sturdy. But of course, there's a way around that, which is basically using, uh, which is using a move that hits multiple times. If it's got full HP, then its sturdy move won't kick in. Farewell, farewell, my victory. Cool, you wrote a losing song. Okay, so... Now if I could quit running into wild pokes, that would be... I think my, my max repel is still in effect, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, this is not the right place for Brave, actually. Um, because of the Pokemon that lurk here are just not for it. Um, it's really... A, it's got things going against it. By having uh, Pokemon that are... So Strong against it. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I can get yes. I can get down there. It's right through down here. All right, get this item or Pokeball. It's a metal coat. Powers up Steel type moves. Another Tynamo. All right, so the, an electric gem, a hidden item. Um, okay, so that's everything here. Uh, okay. And I just gotta walk back out. And then there should be one more path left, if I remember Charge Stone Cave correctly. Unless they put additional things in there. Um, there should only be one more area before we will be able to leave the cave. Alright, so let's talk to Bianca and see what she wants. Know what? I'm here at Professor Juniper's request. I'm researching a Pokemon called Tynamo. There are very many, and they don't seem very strong. Okay, so I'm not sure if she's asking if we have a Tynamo in our party that she can have. I'm not sure how that works out.
Hey, my Pokemon are great. Look, look. Nah, they're not so great. Tortuga. The Water Turtle. Which I will need to switch into um, Ampharos for. Yeah, I got static. Teddy like that. Ooh, yeah, that course sturdy. Honestly, kind of forgot that Turtuga had the sturdy ability. All right, Thunder Punch it out of here. That'll be a level up. Uh, Magmar. Definitely gonna switch, um... Actually, I think I'm gonna let Braviari uh, handle this. Right, Magmar is level 34. Um, I hope that I can... Okay, Flame Burst. How much damage is this gonna do? Quite impressive. All right, now I may switch out, just so that Braviari can get some experience. Um, go ahead and switch into the watch. Should be able to take a flame burst. Ah, oh, I got a critical hit. Are you kidding me? Well, there goes that idea. Um, guess I'll go ahead and bring in Alina, my Espeon. To hopefully finish things off. Um, quick attack's not gonna be enough unless it crits. Uh, fire punch. Uh, it's physical. Ah, I got burned. But, yeah, of course, the synchronized won't affect it because it's a fire type and you see what happens there. Even with half a half attack and a bad attack from a uh, psychic type. Yeah, and that's gonna take her out. Uh, this Magmar is pretty impressive. Um, I have to really be careful now. Honestly, it makes me want to run back to that doctor so he can heal my Pokemon. Because I am getting in a... Ugh, I just barely survived. Whew. Thank goodness for that. That Magmar was pretty tough. Alright, Brave, Brave Yara gets to level up. Arg, you're not a pirate. Ace Trainer, but that doesn't sit well with me because I just love Pokemon and I just want to be strong. Okay, I need to hurry up and go uh, to that Doctor Man to heal my team. Okay, uh, I don't really want to run into any more wild Pokemon right now. Okay, I should be able to run away. Clink, you better let me run away. I should be able to because I'm much faster than Clink. Generally, what happens in that aspect is if the uh, Pokemon is faster than you, then, then the Pokemon that's in the lead, then, then there is, of course, the chance, and it's been that way since Gen 1, that's, uh, that you have a chance of not being able to escape, and then they attack you and stuffs. Alright, so we should be about done with Charge Stone Cape, but we still have a little bit left, um... Keep that out of the way. Alright, get a Hyper Potion as a hidden item. Okay, there's like, what, two more trainers? And then we will be done with Charge Stone Cave. Hiker Otto Aaron. All right, so I'm glad we're fully healed. Um, we we really needed that. Uh, let's go ahead and go into Dewat.
Right through a surf its way. Yeah. Alright, Lena grows to level 32. I forget what level uh, Espeon learns Psybeam, but that should be coming up soon if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the darn sturdy. Alright, finish it with an Aqua Jet. teacher was schooled. You're very strict, aren't you? Yeah, you just got schooled. Sometimes Pokemon are inside dust clouds. Right. This item is a Carbos. Alright, so we have reached the end of Chargestone Cave. Finally. Alright, so here we are in Mistralton City. So, that is going to do it for this episode then, guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, don't forget to click that like button, let's rock smash that like button hard, it really, really helps a lot, because you guys are so very awesome, and because it helps support the series and my channel, so thank you all so much for watching, till the next episode though, guys, I'm out of here, I'm Zephyr Sonic, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode, goodbye!